Hey, welcome back to Fit Survive Channel. Today we're going to be building a Dragonox mechanic. And so you can see we've already got all the tools already disassembled, um, prepared. We already have our Spyderco Dragonfly Blade, and I've already reprofiled this. If you haven't seen how I do this before, go back and watch some of my previous videos. I show how I reprofile the Dragonfly Blade. Today the main, um, the focus of our video is going to actually going to be flaming these titanium scales. Now that's something that I've promised uh, my viewers quite a while now. I would show how I flame titanium black. And so we're gonna take this outside and we're gonna flame this. And then also I'm gonna show the assembly because these particular scales are assembled with torque screws. And so the assembly is slightly different. And so we're gonna be flaming this and we're going to be assembling with torque screws. And so let's, let's dive right in. All right, so a really simple setup. Got some bricks stacked up here on the center block. Just kind of keep the help, helps keep the heat in. I got a little basin here of sunflower oil. Then inside we have two nails. That way I can actually place the scale on those nails and it'll be above the cinder block. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dip this into the oil. And I use a chisel just to fish it out. I'm using two torches to heat it up evenly. And this is after the first go. You guys see it's got some different colors on it, some green, some purple. Um, I'm going to actually repeat this about, about 15 times before it's a total black. See, it's getting more of a grayish color. All right, so you see comparison between the flamed and the plain titanium. So it's not like black, but it's a very dark gray. And once we put these torque screws in here, it'd be a really nice accent there with the the black titanium. And you have this uh, the silver colored torque screws. All right, so we we'll go to him and do the same thing with the back scale, and I'll do that off camera, and then we'll come back. And we'll begin assembly uh, using the torque screws. Alright, so the second scale is finished. So we can actually start assembly now. So we're going to start from the bottom, work our way up. And so basically we're going to do just like you would with the brass pins. Uh, I'm just going to place these in, in here. Again, the 2.5 millimeter ones go on the top and the bottom, and the 2.2 goes in the middle. All right, so what you're gonna notice is there's actually, on the outside, there's only three pins that are visible. So the fourth one actually does not have a torque screw. It just goes right into that little hole there. 
right, and then we're going to begin an assembly like normal. The assembly is basically the exact same way you do it with uh, the brass pins. The main difference is going to be when we get to the end, uh, it's kind of difficult to get it to all fit together. All right, and also you can see, I don't know if it'll focus or not, um, but these have been polished up. And I did not, I'm not going to show how I did that. Um, I've done that in a previous video. Basically, all I did is I sanded it down and I polished it with some flits. And so you get this nice, good finish. So that's layer one. All right, layer two. And now begins the really tricky part. Just getting all this to fit together. Right, let's go ahead and close this down. There we go, got that to snap into place. That's good. Alright, the last thing to do is we're gonna put this scale on. All right, that actually came together pretty well. Didn't cause much guff, much grief there. All right. Now what I already see, is I'm going to need to probably uh, cut these down a bit, but we'll find out. All right, so next thing we do, basically to do the tension, is we put these torque screws in here. Great little kit there, by the way. All right, I think that's the right size now. There we go. All right, so that actually went together really well. Sometimes it can be really difficult to uh, to get the last scale on. It actually went together really well. So I'm gonna tighten these down. All right, and basically that is it. So all we we'll do next is we'll put in some some accessories. So we'll do some, we'll see, maybe we'll do something colored with the gray, actually. Really, any color will match really well. Find out from the guy who ordered this what colors he wants. But I can see green looking really good. All right. All right, and now you see it's too tight. I can get it open. What that means is, let me drop it. That means I need to loosen this up just a tad. 
So basically you do the adjustments that way. All right, still a bit tight, but after we oil it, it'll get a bit better too. All right, so see now we got the snap to it. And we'll do the same thing with the rest of the tools. So those actually aren't too bad. Good. All right, so that is all. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, that titanium tutorial, flaming that. So this is our Dragonox mechanic, flame titanium scales. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about that process. Um, I'm sure there's, there's more professional ways of doing that, but the way I showed is actually really simple. Uh, anybody can really do it. You can set it up at home uh, with some simple things. And so it's not complicated. So let me know what you think about that and don't forget to subscribe.